Hello my YouTube friends, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about two things. Number one, we're gonna do a quick apartment tour because I haven't really shown you guys how I have it laid out since moving back in in November. And number two, I'm gonna update you on my most recent attempt of healing my gut and my psoriasis. A little update for you there, but first we are going to do the apartment tour. Also, I just wanted to acknowledge that I'm having a really great hair day. Um, I curled my hair for you today. What do you think? Do you like it? Okay, so coming through the front door, we've just got the entrance area, and this is an old chair from Germany that my grandma brought over. It's um, kind of an antique. She brought it over in the 70s. Um, here's a painting that my sister-in-law did. And then we come to the kitchen, which is pretty basic. Um, about a month ago I got an air fryer and I've been loving it actually and I've been also been using this cast iron pan a lot for my cooking and it's really cool because this um, cast iron pan was actually a wedding present that my parents got when they got married in 1976 so yeah I kind of think about that every time I use it which is kind of cool and yeah so here's my counter and this all just like looks open looks into this open space, which is the living room. Oh, but I just wanna quickly show you my new artwork. I got this last month, it's the birth of Venus, and I hung it all by myself, and it's pretty straight. So then moving along here to the right, we've got the bathroom, and the bathroom actually connects with the um, bedroom. Well, it's I'm not using it as a bedroom, but you'll see. Uh, so I've got a bath, oh hey there and shower over here and i have to thank new aqua for sending me this 12 stage uh, shower filter it filters out chlorine fluoride heavy metals bacteria i don't know fungi all sorts of stuff and i've noticed that my skin is a lot less dry since i put it in and also i never really have to clean oh focus please I never really have to clean my shower because all I just do is squeegee it because it kind of like filters out the stuff that like builds up gunk. So yeah, it makes that super easy. So then coming out of the bathroom, we have the living room. So as you can see, it's empty. Um, I didn't want any furniture in here. When I lived here before with Denise, we would, you know, we had a whole bunch of furniture and I'd have to move everything around every time I was filming and that was annoying. So when I moved back in, I was like, I just want an empty space. I want no clutter. So this is it. This is my living room. And okay, so I'll show you where I sleep now. And this is actually just like a little den slash office. And I also love my new artwork here. That's the Lady of Shalott. And so yeah, this is the guy that I was renting it to. This was, he used this as an office. Uh, it's not a bedroom, it's just like an office. Um, but I just sleep in there and I don't need a bedroom. So yeah, and it just has a sliding door. So that's it, that's where I sleep. And then yeah, so I have a pretty nice view. It's really gray outside right now, um, but you can see the ocean back there and you can go on the balcony and you can see the parliament building with all the lights. And yeah, it's got a wraparound balcony. You can go out the door there. Oh, I'll show you a few of my little things here. So I've got a cactus and some crystals, just pretty little things that I like having. So then going this way, there's my light that I film with. Just ignore this messy table, hi again. Um, so then we're gonna go into this room, which is meant to be a bedroom, but which I have made into sort of like a sitting room, chill out area. And I've got my couch in here, my coffee table and um, my dresser. So all my clothes are in this closet here. And um, this is another one of my favorite items is this antique phone that um, my, again, my grandma brought from Germany and it actually works if you plugged it in, you could actually make a phone call with it, but I don't have a landline, so isn't it cool? It's like really heavy. Um, some books, some decorative pipes, which are obviously for display purposes only, books and yeah. 
So that's basically my apartment. I hope you enjoyed that little tour. Um, it's a small apartment, but it works perfectly for me and I love living here. So now I just also wanted to talk a little bit about what I'm doing to heal my gut for the 800th time. Um, so in the last diet update video that I made, you might have remembered me mentioning that in January I'm going to restart doing carnivore because when I did carnivore in, in the fall, I started to notice that my skin was healing and my stomach was feeling a lot better. But then I fell off the wagon because of the holidays and visiting friends and just not being able to stick with it. So again, I've restarted, but I'm doing a slightly different approach now. I actually, um, my friend Drew forwarded me um, to the channel of Mike Heal Your Gut Guy. And so I was kind of binge watching all of his videos and then I went to his website and looked at his course and I actually ended up reaching out to him and we did a Skype um, consult and he helped me in a lot of ways. So I'm basically doing his protocol now. Um, if you have gut problems, I highly recommend going to his channel and watching his videos. His approach is very logical and comprehensive. Um, a lot of the things that he talks about, I was already doing, I was just, just doing them in the wrong order. Um, I was missing certain aspects. Um, I was eating too big of meals. So one of the, so it's kind of like a four phase approach or maybe like a three phase. Anyways, phase one is all about like resting the gut, letting the gut seal up. So in that phase, you're eating a lot of like s multiple smaller easy to digest foods and I'm in this phase right now and I'm eating a lot of um, like uh, chicken soup so uh, just very plain just chicken and broth and also ground meats so and also some fish so very soft easy to digest food and not massive quantities um, which is a little bit of a challenge for me actually because I don't feel satisfied with small meals but I'm doing my best so it's all about resting and resealing the gut and then after that um, you start to bring in herbal uh, antimicrobials such as like oil of oregano um, and just yeah it's all listed on on his channel so a bunch of other stuff and he's got me he got me to order these spore based probiotics from just thrive which haven't arrived yet but they will be arriving soon and so when those come then i'm going to start eating some more prebiotic foods because right now I'm basically just eating meat and um, once I take those probiotics then I'm gonna have to feed those bacteria some fiber just small amounts just easy to digest stuff I think what I'm gonna add back in is like cooked apple um, maybe some like rice porridge uh, maybe some I'm not sure about the rice though because I know grains are not great for autoimmune stuff but what I'm hoping is once my gut flora is rebalanced again, that the autoimmune stuff won't be a problem. So um, yeah, I'm just kind of trying this approach, which is a little bit different. So yeah, just waiting for the probiotics and then I'm gonna start incorporating some plant foods again, just in small amounts and things that are higher in fiber. Um, but yeah, just small, uh, small amounts just to feed those beneficial bacteria and also possibly taking some of the herbal antimicrobials. And then he also recommends a lot of like raw milk and raw yogurt, and I haven't quite decided if I'm gonna do that, if I can even access it. I did have a lady I was getting raw goat milk from over the summer, but I don't know if she's still doing that, so that might be an issue. Um, but I will keep you guys updated. So, so far, um, my stomach feels good on carnivore. I did have a couple of weeks of diarrhea, so it's been about two and a half weeks now, so the diarrhea stopped. That happened the first time I went carnivore as well, the diarrhea, and then it stopped, so now it's stopped, which is great. Um, I don't have any bloating, and my stomach just feels pretty calm and quiet. There's not a lot of digestive noises and sensations, which is nice, and then my skin also has calm down so I wouldn't say that my skin has started healing yet but 
or like the psoriasis hasn't started getting smaller, but it's no longer like red and angry and itchy. It's more like pale and it just looks a lot calmer now. So I'm hoping to continue that in the same direction so that I can start eating a more varied diet and not have random things trigger me. And it was actually kind of crazy. So my dad saw me at Christmas time and then my dad saw me a week and a half ago and he looked at me, he's like, Christine, like, have you, like, what's, your face looks different. And I was like, what do you mean? He's like, your face looks so clear and glowing and just way better. When I saw you at Christmas time, you looked kind of puffy and inflamed. And he actually thought that I was taking immunosuppressant medication at Christmas time because yeah, um, a lot of the times if, when people take that kind of medication it can make their face swell but I was just eating such crap in December that my face was just like really my whole body was just like puffy and inflamed um, and so when he saw me this time he's like whoa a major difference and he's like were you taking immunosuppressants I was like no dad no I would tell you if I was taking like serious medications like that but he just noticed that my face looked so much more clear and uh, not puffy and just healthy. And he's like, you know, he was like skeptical about me doing this like all meat diet. But when he saw what I looked like a couple weeks into it, he was like, wow, okay, keep doing it. Full support. I'm like, okay, thanks. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.